Hello, everyone. Okay, um, uh, I came from China, and uh, I came from Alibaba Cloud Database Department. Uh, my name is uh, Max Maxwell Hu, and my nickname in Alibaba is uh, Xuanlin. Uh, for this is my first time, uh, first time to use English to make a speech. So, uh, please forgive me if I uh, will make uh, some uh, language problem. Okay. Uh, today, my topic is uh, building Cassandra device at, on Alibaba Cloud. Um, this is my topic. Okay. Um, if I can, I think, okay. Um, uh, today, my talk uh, uh, will uh, consist of four parts. Uh, first is the introduction to Apsar DB for Cassandra. The second is the data migration of, uh, of Apsar DB for Cassandra. And the uh, third is the optimization and the features for, uh, of Apsar DB for Cassandra. The last part is Q&A. Um, uh, okay, uh, the part one, introduction to Apsar DB for Cassandra. Um, Apsar DB for Cassandra is uh, Apache uh, Cassandra's fork with some kernel customs development and optimization. Um, uh, let's uh, come in to see uh, the overall architecture of uh, uh, our AppSub DB for Cassandra, uh, part one. Um, so we can see that uh, the architecture is uh, for, uh, if a user, uh, the, uh, so sorry, um, our, Cassandra is not serverless, so if a user want to buy uh, a, buy a service, it is uh, he will buy a cluster for Cassandra, and uh, um, different users are of different uh, VPCs. VPCs were uh, under Alibaba Cloud it means uh, um, virtual private cloud, and uh, different users. Uh, uh, we all got different uh, VPC, and uh, they are uh, isolated from each other. Um, for example, um, if user C in our, in our picture, user C uh, can contact to uh, the user C's uh, environment of uh, uh, which he buys, but uh, uh, user C will not contact to uh, user A's uh, uh, Cassandra's environment. And um, um, besides, uh, um, we support uh, uh, DC disaster tolerance, and um, different uh, clusters uh, will got a backup service, and they will backup their data to our Ali, Alibaba Cloud OSS service. So uh, the Absar DB4 Cassandra uh, support security. That means isolation between VPCs, uh, and uh, only the uh, host or the IPs uh, added to the whitelist uh, can contact to the uh, specific uh, VPC environment, and uh, we support high av uh, availability. Um, that is what uh, Cassandra support, uh, replica and DC level disaster tolerance. Uh, besides, we also support uh, rich functions. Uh, that means uh, data migration and the backup and restore service and other uh, service. Mm, okay. Uh, seven second. Uh, the the um, that's uh, uh, the two uh, the second part of uh, overall architecture of uh, Absar DB for Cassandra. Um, we know that Absar DB for Cassandra is a fork of Apache Cassandra, and we have uh, done some uh, optimization. And we have made uh, some features for uh, for our, uh, our Cassandra, um, but uh, the architecture is uh, the same with uh, Apache uh, Apache Cassandra. Uh, they got we got uh, uh, Cassandra Cassandra's uh, consistent uh, hash ring, and we also got uh, uh, com read and write. Uh, 
um, but we support um, see, support a uh, uh, agent uh, service that's called Cassandra Meet, which will do some uh, automated operation and maintenance. Uh, besides, we also uh, do some kernel custom uh, custom customization to make a higher performance. Um, okay, that's uh, what uh, that that is a uh, uh, a class single clusters uh, architecture. Mm, okay. Um, the um, this is a list of uh, character characteristic of Absar DB for Cassandra. Uh, part one, we support out of the box uh, service, uh, which will eliminate the operation and maintenance trouble, uh, elastic uh, scaling, and uh, 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 nearly expansion. Uh, besides, uh, high availability is supported, uh, and the backup and the restore service is uh, supported, which uh, we got full and incremental backup and uh, restore. Okay. I will see if you are, uh, anyone got some question. Okay, uh, continue. Um, besides, uh, security is also uh, coming soon. Uh, that we will uh, support SSL and the TD for link entry uh, in, in encryption, uh, audit log, and the cloud DBA is, uh, that is uh, supported by Alivin database mm, will coming soon. Okay, uh, let's come to part two. That is uh, the data migration of Absar DB for Cassandra. Um, we have got uh, two versions. Uh, they are uh, evolution. Uh, we evolution from version one to version two. At first, we support uh, version one. Um, uh, we got a service called LTS, which uh, uh, former name is uh, BDS. Uh, this service will uh, help us to do um, data migration. Uh, in version one, at the, our first version, um, LTS will um, support uh, the same topology, topology node topology. Um, uh, that is, uh, if the source cluster is uh, four nodes uh, in our picture, on the left side, it is uh, we got a four nodes. Uh, that is a W, X, Y, and Z, and they are of different uh, uh, ranges. Uh, w got uh, a token ten, and X is uh, uh, twenty. Uh, y is thirty, and uh, Z is forty. Um, so uh, we have got a limitation. That is uh, the um, the destination cluster should also be four nodes and uh, their nodes, corresponding nodes uh, token should be the same. That is uh, on the right side, the destination cluster W should also be to uh, be set with the token 10 and X is 20, Y is 30 and uh, Z is uh, 40. So um, they are their data range are the same, and the nodes uh, topology are also same. This is uh, the first uh, step that uh, LTS will do. They will set uh, the nodes with the same topology. Um, okay. Uh, second, the LTS will help to do schema set. Um, he, the LTS will got the schema. Uh, of the left side source cluster. And uh, then uh, LTS will set the schema on the right side with the, the same schema. Uh, this is what LTS do for the initial uh, initial information. Uh, sets the node topology and uh, schema. Uh, second, we uh, LTS will do uh, do two parts uh, data migration. Part one is uh, uh, for data, uh, for data that is of uh, uh, which uh, will uh, generated by snapshot. 
we make a snapshot and a snapshot where got uh, uh, the four nodes uh, as table on the left. Then data uh, LTS will do data migration. He will transfer the data or the as, uh, snapshot as table on the left. Uh, uh, for example, that uh, as table that uh, belongs to uh, node W. And uh, LTS will um, transfer the data belongs W to the right side uh, to W, to the right side W. Okay. And uh, Z, uh, the, that, the snapshot uh, as table belongs to Z on the left to the right, uh, to the right side of the node Z, X to uh, left X to the right X, left Y to the right Y. Uh, that is the second step. The third step, we will for uh, for incremental data. Uh, that is, uh, mm, we will do open the incremental backup uh, function for the left size cluster. Mm, okay, uh, if we open this feature, uh, every incremental uh, insert or modification to this uh, uh, cluster will. Um, coming to a backup directory, a, a directory and uh, it is uh, after flushing from the mem uh, from mem mem table to S table. Okay, we just uh, uh, transfer the data that's uh, uh, coming from the mem uh, coming from the flushing mem table. Then we also uh, transfer the uh, incremental S table that's uh, uh, coming from uh, mem table flush. Um, to the right side, okay. Uh, w no W's uh, incremental S table uh, transfer to the right side uh, uh, W, okay. Uh, that's the same with uh, snapshot S table's uh, transfer. Um, and the um, and the incremental S table uh, transform um, will be done continually, continually, uh, always. Uh, Mm, okay. Um, on the right side, uh, the BDS just uh, done uh, the operation of node refresh. Uh, that uh, refresh the S table transformed by, by BDS uh, or by LTS. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, through node refresh, the data uh, metadata will be replayed uh, in the memory. Okay. That is uh, version one. But uh, uh, version one got a limitation. That is, uh, the nodes uh, topology should be the same, and the nodes number should be the same. Uh, that is, uh, uh, we don't think this is a good idea. So we have got a version evolution. That is a version two, uh, which supports uh, different node topologies um, data migration. <clears throat> Um, so uh, in version two, we um, with uh, BDS or LTS, sorry, uh, LTS can support uh, uh, different node topologies uh, data migration, uh, and uh, we don't uh, LTS don't uh, well we won't uh, do uh, node topologies uh, initial. That is. Uh, um, we want to set the initial uh, tokens uh, of the right side to be the same with the left side. Uh, we don't want to do this, but uh, which uh, version one will do this uh, as the first step. Uh, version two won't do this. And uh, mm, uh, what, 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 what LTS will do is just uh, set the schema uh, as the first step uh, in version two. And, um, so um, BLTS will uh, maintain a token mapping in the memory and in the disk of uh, LTS service, uh, which is just uh, the left, left side the token map and the right side the token map, which means um, the token map and uh, their primary range um, of, uh, of left side and of the right side. Um, so um, we can do this. That is, uh, if uh, uh, an an access table, uh, access table that belongs uh, uh, belongs to the left side, uh, be, uh, for example, is um, 
node A and uh, this S table and uh, and the data or the, all the S table belongs to the A and uh, belongs to the uh, primary range of uh, of A. When that's consensual, I've got a primary range uh, uh, for every node, and also they will got a replica um, range for every node. Uh, but uh, we um, first we only uh, take care of the primary range of every node. Okay, uh, if uh, uh, S table belongs to uh, node A and it belongs to the primary range of uh, node A, so uh, we will uh, BDS or LTS will will do. Mm, well, 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 make this S table that belongs to the primary range to transfer the data to the to the left, right side with the primary ranges uh, that's uh, uh, for the right side. Um, for example, if um, the range is uh, uh, the primary range is uh, uh, eleven to twenty uh, twenty twenty five, and uh, that means uh, mm, what LTS will done is uh, to split uh, the the S table uh, into two parts. Part one is uh, eleven to twenty, and part two is uh, uh, twenty to twenty five. And uh, this S table coming from the primary range node of uh, the re left side. Uh, then after slipping this S table, um, the S table will uh, be put to the right size primary range node. Uh, for example, is W and uh, Z. Uh, this is a uh, data that come uh, belongs to primary range, and also if uh, accessible, that uh, belongs to uh, some replica nodes or replica nodes range. Um, they will also uh, LTS will also do doing slipping and uh, uh, transfer them to the replica nodes. Okay. After doing this, uh, LTS will also do node refresh, and uh, uh, in this way, um, data will be uh, transferred very quickly and will be uh, migration very quickly. Okay, um, for incremental data, uh, we also open uh, incremental backups for the left side, and uh, uh, LTS will done. Uh, token map mapping, uh, token map mapping for um, for incremental data, and uh, we are doing uh, S table slipping, uh, slipping. Okay, and on the right side, uh, LTS will all, will also done uh, node refresh. That is uh, the evolution from v uh, v one to version two, um, and uh, the version two is. Uh, can be migration in both direction from the left side to the right side and to the right side to the left side. Um, that means uh, if the nodes are different, uh, no matter which side the node is bigger, um, it is okay. It can be migration from in both side in both direction. Okay. Mm, part three. Part three means uh, the optimi optimization and the features of Absorptive for Cassandra, which we have done uh, for Cassandra. Okay. Uh, if let's see if anyone got some problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, for our environment, for our uh, Alibaba cloud environment, we know that we and we have introduction at the first part that uh, every customer's uh, cluster is not serverless. It is um, if a user buy a service, it is uh, he will buy a cluster service, uh, and uh, uh, if we got uh, thousands of clusters, that will that means that we will maintain thousands of clusters on the cloud. That is a um, it, that is a big task, and it's um, it may um, and we will got some problems uh, um, for so many. Uh, clusters. Okay, uh, we know that uh, repair uh, for Cassandra is needed and must be done periodi periodically. Uh, first, second, repair. Uh, if we don't repair once, uh, this this is a uh, resource costing. Uh, repair will cost uh, 
uh, CPU, memory, and disk. Okay. Um, third, doing repair for our environment, for our environment uh, period, periodically is troublesome um, because we may got thousands of uh, clusters. Uh, so uh, we think that uh, to do repair uh, uh, automation, automated, automated is uh, needed. And uh, we want also want that uh, um, repair for the repair process for us is uh, not resource costing um, uh, and uh, will make little effect of, uh, for our customers. Um, also, um, we don't want uh, um, our repair automation, uh, our auto uh, re automate, automate uh, repair uh, will cost a much time. So we want the uh, time is controllable. So we have uh, abandoned the Apache Cassandra's repair method, and we will implement, and we have implemented our own repair made service, which will done uh, repair all repair all um, done the data repair uh, automated. Uh, that's the introduction to our method. We have uh, uh, make a process in our Cassandra daemon, and. Uh, uh, every Cassandra daemon node, every Cassandra node will just uh, do uh, the repair process for uh, automated. Um, that is, uh, we know that every Cassandra, every Cassandra node will got a primary range for their for their nodes, and they have also got a replica range for themselves. So, uh, but we just uh, divide or cut the uh, primary range, uh, which nodes responsible, uh, cut them, uh, cut the range into some smaller uh, sub ranges. Uh, in our picture, we can see that B uh, node B uh, well got sub range one, two, three, for for simply. Okay, um, that is what we first done. Uh, just uh, cut the uh, primary range into primary range of the nodes into some smaller sub ranges. Okay, uh, and uh, every range and uh, our pair demon will done, will got some, uh, for every node will got some tasks and uh, every task, every tasks uh, will, um, will take, care, take care of some, some sub ranges and uh, um, uh, take care of some uh, sub ranges. Uh, that is the first step. Then um, uh, every task will doing uh, uh, doing the data data repair. Um, they will just uh, uh, scan the sub ranges from the uh, start to the end, uh, round and round. Every round, they will just uh, scan some, uh, such as uh, 10 uh, keys, uh, for example. And uh, they just uh, scan this data, scan this uh, token keys, and uh, uh, just uh, um, read uh, all the data uh, of this key from our replica with the consistent level of all just read them, and uh, as the node B, we will compare, compare the data from different replica. And uh, uh, then step two, we will doing um, the data fix. And then we, we, we know that we can uh, get the uh, detailed data of different uh, replica uh, for the same key. Uh, then we will fix them with the detailed data um, of dif uh, of, uh, for different uh, replica. Um, for us, the data repair pass for read, uh, okay, uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I forgot that. Uh, the fixed pass, uh, we will also um, with the consistent level of all. So that means we uh, the node B with uh, the, the repair demon on node ABC, 
uh, just uh, will doing uh, data rates from all replica with the consistent level of all and uh, gets the detailed data for all replica. And then we will fix the data for all replica with the consistent level of all. So that is what uh, we, we, uh, we have done. And uh, second, the read and the fix path for, re for our repair demon is individual, is independent um, with the normal write and the read path. So that means this uh, demon, this demon will not affect the um, the normal read and write uh, path. Okay. So um, besides, if one task failed, uh, for example, if one node is dead and the all consistent level uh, read and write will fail. Uh, so uh, after some times retry if the the failure also occurs, so we just uh, keep this uh, uh, sub range uh, uh, record in 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 some uh, what we call the uh, system uh, uh, system table. Uh, we have we have made a system table, and uh, <clears throat> uh, and as uh, after another round round. Uh, the the record uh, will come into a uh, queue. The queue is uh, you know, we can take this uh, uh, finial uh, record uh, with a higher priority. Okay, that's uh, w what we have done, and uh, we know that uh, in this in this way, every node will do their repair automatically. We won't uh, do it uh, manually. Okay. And uh, we have got uh, that this repair will uh, doing uh, will got uh, less uh, resource costing, and the for the re repairs uh, uh, path is independent uh, and won't will affect the read and write. Um, okay, uh, every node will do 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 their own uh, uh, primary read and read, uh, so uh, it is okay for for our cluster. Uh, there won't be any any uh, sub range or, or, or any range that won't be done. Uh, every 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 range will be done. Our repair uh, uh, the repair will be done for our uh, all ranges. So non non range will be missing. Okay, that is what we have done for our repair automation and our cluster uh, under our. Uh, Alibaba clouds uh, have got this uh, service. Uh, it is, um, it is. Uh, I, I think it is a very good job. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the another another way we have done for our is uh, is our performance enhance enhance. Um, no. Uh, sorry. Mm. Uh, besides, we, we uh, at first uh, we uh, our deployment uh, on our environment maybe like maybe like this for, uh, like the picture on the left side. Um, on top is LSM tree engine, and uh, uh, then is the file system level, and then is cloud disk. We use our um, Alibaba cloud disk. Uh, Alibaba cloud disk. Okay. Um, for example. We know that the deployment uh, configure configuration for um, for uh, for Cassandra should be like that. Comics log uh, may be um, a separated uh, disk, and uh, all accessible should be with the other left uh, disks. Um, but on this uh, format, uh, it uh, it will will make a higher price for users. You, for for that we we make an individual uh, disk for uh, discs for commit lock, but the commit lock uh, won't uh, store store uh, store store like uh, store data for for very very long time. And every key insert into Cassandra will um, will flush to uh, commit lock and then. Uh, will be deleted uh, periodically, but uh, as tables on a cloud disk should be um, should be persisted uh, forever or for very long time. 
if the compassion strategy is okay. And but uh, uh, we know that it, this uh, format uh, for uh, for the users, if a user buy this uh, uh, product like this deployment, uh, they will cost us so uh, so much money. Um, so, and uh, this is not a good. Um, mm, this this problem this deployment uh, is well, won't got a very good uh, right performance. So we change the deployment uh, from left to uh, to the right side. Uh, that is, uh, we use LVM to bind all cloud disk uh, cloud disks uh, together. And if one S tables and all commit logs coming from uh, from the uh, Cassandra. And they will go from to LVM, and LVM will help them to split them into chunks, and the different chunks will um, come into different uh, cloud disks uh, in par in parallel. So uh, in this format, we have got some ben uh, benefits. Um, and why we can do this is uh, because of the our cloud native environment. Why uh, that is. Uh, at first, we use our cloud disk, that is Pangu cloud disk, which can ensure nine nine uh, data re reliability. Um, but if you use a local disk and you use the LVM, I don't uh, I don't advise you to use this format for if one disks um, got uh, some error. The the data on the nodes were lost. I don't uh, advise you to be uh, use this format. But uh, on our uh, cloud environment, uh, I think this is a very is a good uh, uh, is a good uh, uh, advice for you to choose this uh, uh, deployment uh, for the cloud disk. Will ensure nine number of line data reliability. Okay, that is first. Uh, Second, uh, we use this uh, format, uh, and we can use the multi-disk parallel writing capability, capacity, um, which improve about uh, twenty percent write performance. And we have done a task; uh, the results were um, got twenty percent on average. Uh, okay, third. If this is the best choice on the comprehensive uh, uh, consideration of performance and the prices. We know that um, uh, on the left side, the deployment will got uh, much money, and uh, this is uh, cheaper than um, than than the uh, commit log with uh, one disk con uh, configuration. It's very is cheaper than than the left uh, side uh, picture or uh, deployment. Okay, that's it. We done. Uh, for performance enhancements, uh, uh, just one, 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 one point. We also we have got an, another, any other points. Um, okay, uh, let's come in to see what we have done for a backup, uh, backup and restore. We have done for and the increment backup and restore. Um, it's it's a little like uh, LTS uh, data migration. Um, we have done a snapshot. And uh, increment back uh, in the snapshot uh, as table backup and uh, incremental backups as table. And also, we have done commit logs uh, backup. Um, we have made a uh, while log or commit log to doing online active. Uh, we know that if we, you want to do uh, commit logs uh, active, you should restart this uh, cluster. We, 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 we don't think that's a good idea. So, we doing. Uh, online and uh, replace online. Okay, if you back up the snapshot as table and the incremental backup as table and uh, commit log from the left to the right, right. And uh, uh, we, uh, when you doing restore, we will pick uh, some as tables and uh, commit logs. We won't uh, replace all commit logs for that. Some that are uh, also in incremental backups as table. Uh, they are, uh, they are, they were, they were got some data that's uh, also incre uh, in incremental as table and also in commit log. So we won't uh, replay them all. We just uh, we think that uh, the more as table to replace, the less uh, commit log to 
uh, replay, the better. Uh, and the, 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 the less time we will cost. Uh, if you, the commission log is too much, it, it will cost uh, so much time. Okay. Uh, the last part is monitoring and alarm. Uh, we, we got this um, architecture, uh, metric uh, connection, that is a uh, storage uh, service, uh, metric uh, story, storage proxy, metric compassion, metric, and uh, so on, and logs, slow cycle, uh, and the GC logs, uh, one logs will uh, connect it by SLS service. And uh, last, uh, the OS service, uh, the OS uh, um, monitoring is uh, FS uh, arrow, patch job, daemon desk, DGC, um, uh, all this uh, information will be collected from uh, our cloud uh, services like CMS and the SLS and uh, uh, also available exception will come into our ops and the uh, CMS that are coming to uh, show for clients. Okay, mm, that's my talk and uh, let's come into Q&A. Uh, this is my personal email. Uh, you can you if you call some question or if uh, um, uh, if uh, I, I you know this is my first time to talk in English so if you uh, something is not uh, um, clear you can uh, send me an email uh, the, the the last link is our Absar DB's Cassandra you product you uh, let's come in to see if anyone got some question any question. Hey Maxwell, thank you for your presentation. Uh, can you can you can you just uh, uh, type it? Uh, my spoken English is not so good. Uh, that's okay. Um, I'm the chair for the session, so I'm just going to ask anyone if they have any questions. Please put them into the chat. Anyone? Okay, I think um, if anyone got some question, he can send me an email. This is my email. The question will be anything about this. I start to be a little or like that. Maybe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, all right. Well, if there's no questions, um, thanks again, Maxwell, for presenting. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>